G, volunteer at Rock Camp, and I'm here to help you to make your t-shirt for Rock Camp. Step one, and we're going to do it in five easy steps. Step one, make your logo. You'll want to remember to keep it on an 8 by 10 size or smaller. And you will want to use a larger, chunkier font and picture or diagram, like our little piece of rock sign. Uh, so remember that smaller, more detailed designs are harder when it comes to the Maj Paj and silk screening process. So here we go. All right, now that you have your design on your paper, now you're going to want to put it on your frame. Rock Camp will be providing you with a speedball frame. Now with your frame, you have two sides. You have the completely flat side and you have the side with the well. So it's a good idea to look at the name speedball and that is always going to be at the bottom of your design. The part without a name is going to be the top of your design. So you're going to take your design, you're going to attach it to the flat back side remembering that speedball is your bottom and once you have it centered just flip it over and then use tape scotch tape masking tape whatever kind of tape you have don't run out and go buy tape unless you have an excuse to go shopping okay now that you have it on there you're just going to take a pencil and you're going to trace your design And if you go a little bit off the line, that's okay. You can go back over it again. It's just important that you have the outside where you want it to be because the ink will flow through the lead of the pencil. But again, this is all where we're gonna mosh posh all of this area here because we want our one, two, three rock to have the ink. And now, before you take it off, you can just kind of tape it, take the bottom portion off to make sure you have everything you need. Once you determine, boom, take it off and you're done. All right, step three, Mod Podge time. Mod Podge is fun. Remember when you were a kid and you made stuff with Mod Podge in newspaper? Well, now we're gonna use it to cover the screen. So you're going to start on the top, again, the part with the deep well, with your speed ball being at the bottom. And you're just going to evenly coat where you do not want the ink to go. But you don't want it to, it, it's a fine balance between covering the screen, but you don't want it so thick that it just will never dry, okay? So now you'll just want to come in and carefully go around. And this is where you'll use the larger brush to do the outer portion. And just carefully go around your design. And you can also come in the back and pull the back part that it's kind of bled through a little bit. And that's how you know you have it on too thick if it's bleeding through the back side. And just carefully go around your numbers or your design. And once you have the outside portion done, then you can take one of the smaller brushes and go in and do the more intricate and smaller inside pieces.
because you each will be given three different brush sizes. And the Maj Paj may pick up some of the pencil and so it may turn a little black, but that's okay. It doesn't affect the, the purpose of the Maj Paj. And the purpose of the Maj Paj, just in case you're wondering, is to keep the ink from flowing through. And if you've been at Rock Camp before, you've seen this process, so you should be familiar. But if this is your first time, just have fun. It's not a rush process. This is something that you and your group can do together, or you can select someone in your group to be the Maj Paj person. However you choose to do it is up to you. And then you're given an even smaller brush. Oh, I guess that's the smallest brush. To get down here into the little fine detail. And I like doing the small detail pieces first. Because it's just easier that way. You're not, if your fingers touch it, you're not getting Maj Paj all over your hands. Maj Paj is a little smelly, so if you're sensitive to smells, make sure you do it in a room with plenty of ventilation. But it's not toxic. Okay, so once you have your screen, and we'll pretend that this is completely Maj Paj, you want to make sure that you set it aside and you allow it to dry. And so usually it's a good five to 24 hour process depending upon the thickness of your Maj Paj and the warmness of your home, okay? But with the miracle of modern TV, ah, we have one already done. Kind of like Food Network, right? When they suddenly pull something out of the oven that they started 10 minutes ago. So here we have our Rock Camp completely Maj Camp, our one, two, three Rock Camp completely Maj Paj. Okay. It's red because we've used it before, so don't be shocked if yours isn't red. So now that you have your screen, you're going to want to take your t-shirt, okay, and you're going to want to decide on your t-shirt where you want to place your logo. Okay, do you want it more towards the top, off the side, on the bottom, on the back? You'll also be given a piece of clear plastic. So once you determine where you want your logo to go, you'll open up your t-shirt and you will place your plastic inside where you want your logo to be. And what this plastic will do is protect the backside of your t-shirt. It'll keep the ink from bleeding through, right? And it'll just stay on the front piece. that we have this here nice and centered you're going to want to take your screen print and center it on top of the plastic and then you will take your ink that you're given use the little popsicle stick that you're given and you're going to then put a healthy portion of it down here in the bottom okay you just want to make sure that your ink is evenly spread all the way across now remember this is permanent ink and whatever this touches it will stay so carefully put that back Bring in your assistant, because this does become a two-person process at this point. And you will take your... Pause. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so we realize that this was an older frame. The frame that you'll be given is a, a much larger frame, so you will not experience this problem. And the squeegee was not wide enough to fit in, 
or was too wide and would not fit inside. So we just turned it and moved all the ink down to the bottom, okay? So technical difficulty, but we worked through it. So now you're gonna take your squeegee and you're gonna do what's called flooding the area and you're just going to completely flood your area with the ink. So you can no longer see. And then you're gonna take and with some good pressure, push down and slide off the ink and go down again. And that's gonna push the ink all the way through. Hold the t-shirt, Vanna. Thank you. So while somebody holds a t-shirt, you're going to take the frame and lift it straight up. And there you go. One, two, three, rock. So now you'll want to do your second shirt or bandana or slacks or whatever it is you decided that you wanted to screen print. You'll put the protective sleeve on the inside, set it down, do the flooding, and then the hard drag and the lift for your design, okay? And you will do that if you need to add more ink. You'll go ahead and add more ink. If you have extra ink that's left over, you're gonna to wanna to scrape that back into the container because we can reuse the ink. And then you're gonna to want to take your screen and take it to whatever your, your tub, your shower, your sink, wherever you wanna do it, and you're gonna to wanna to spray it off and clean it to remove all of the ink and you want to do it with when you're cleaning your screen you don't want a lot of splash back because again the ink will stain anything that it does touch ask a skirt I have it has rock camp colors but luckily it was a white skirt, so the splatters of the red and the blue and the green and the yellow are kind of pretty. So you just want to get all of that. Use some nice warm water. If you want to add a little bit of soap to it to kind of speed up the process, you can. Whenever anti-paper towel I suggest buying an inexpensive package of paper towels because unless you have a dish towel that you don't care if it gets ruined by the ink but I, I make no apology I love my paper towels oh. and then you'll just dry it now Rock Camp will be coming back and collecting the frame and the other supplies that they've loaned you but if you want to keep your screen all you have to do is, sorry if I do this, mm -hmm. is you want to peel off the duct tape. You can just show you don't have to do the whole thing. Or just talk about cutting it out even. Take your duct tape, peel it off, right? And then, or you can take a sharp knife or an X-Acto knife and just go around the edge and cut your screen. And then you can have your screen as a memento. Okay, after you have screen printed your shirt or whatever object you're using, you want to make sure you take out the plastic sleeve, clean it, set it off to the side. Then you'll want to take your shirt or bandana and you'll want to let it sit and let the ink dry. Okay. Um, if it's pooled and you've got thicker spots, it's going to take longer, so I would give it at least 20 minutes to an hour, depending upon how warm it is where you're at. But once, once it is dry to the touch, then you'll want to lay it on a surface. If you have an ironing board, you can use an ironing board, or you can use just a piece of paper. Hand me a piece of that. Oh, no, that's the... Just that paper. Butcher paper. Butcher paper, or if you have butcher paper, you can just take a piece of butcher paper, lay it on your surface, and that's to protect it in case the ink runs through. 
And then take a sheet of wax paper, and Rock Camp will supply you with some wax paper. Set your iron to cotton setting. And once your iron is hot, then you'll want to just put the wax paper over the top of your screening, and then just set the iron down for about 10 seconds. And then move over to the next section. If the ink is thicker, it will kind of pool up a little bit. Don't be alarmed. Go over it a second time. And what this heat does is it just sets the ink, okay? And that will keep it from washing away. Okay, and then you'll take your wax paper off very carefully. Some of the ink will transfer, and you're done. That's it. Now you have your own self-made Rock Camp t-shirt.